Game two that we're going to preview is Saturday night at Wallace Wade Stadium in Durham. Five and five, Virginia Tech at seven and three. Duke, ACC Network primetime game. Hokies maybe a little surprising here, DG. They're a three-point favorite in Durham on Saturday. Yeah, to me, despite a slight difference in records, obviously, these two teams are mirror images of each other in several ways, especially one. To me, they're two of the top five defenses in the Atlantic Coast Conference. But on a week-to-week basis, another thing they have in common, unfortunately, is that neither is sure exactly what to expect from its offense, and that has especially been the case for the Hokies this season. All five, though, of Virginia Tech's losses this year have been to quality opponents. Vanderbilt, Rutgers, Miami, Syracuse, and Clemson are all going to bowls, and all five of those Hokies' losses were by 10 points or fewer with that Tech defense typically keeping the Hokies in pretty much every game. The Hokies have one of the best defensive tackles in the ACC in Duke transfer Aeneas Peebles, so it'll be a homecoming for him at Wallace Wade Stadium. The Hokies also have one of the best defensive ends in the ACC in Antoine Powell Ryland, and they're just very well coached on that side of the ball under their head coach Brent Pry, former defensive coordinator, which is exactly what you'd also say about Duke. Uh during this first season under head coach Manny Diaz, another former defensive coordinator. So it could be a defensive grinder type game in Durham on Saturday night. But at seven and three, the Devils still have a shot at what would be still just the second 10 win season in the history of Duke football. That is an absolutely amazing possibility, especially when you consider how much talent the team lost in the transfer portal after Mike Elko left to take the Texas A&M job last winter, and how little time Manny Diaz had to add talent from the transfer portal, although in the end he did. Here the Devils are, staring at the possibility of a 9-3 and regular season, with Virginia Tech obviously this week, and then a struggling Wake Forest team still ahead in Duke's regular season finale. Neither game will be easy, but both games are winnable. And regardless of of where this season goes, I think Coach Diaz and his staff and players deserve a lot of credit for essentially maximizing the talent on hand. The Texas transfer Malik Murphy has been good enough at quarterback in most games. Veteran wide receivers Jordan Moore and Eli Pancall have been sensational. The New Mexico State transfer Star Thomas has been a really hard-nosed running back, and their playmakers all over that Duke defense with a Princeton transfer, Ozzie Nicholas, a Youngstown State transfer, Alex Howard, those two guys excelling at linebacker, and a returning Blue Devil, Chandler Rivers, just a fantastic competitor at cornerback. Those are just three of Manny's guys on the defensive side, but that has been the foundation for Duke's success this year. And if they're going to win on Saturday night, I think the Blue Devils will need that defense to rise to the occasion once more.